Live from Austin, where Justin's mom summons hurricanes and Brian makes good use of his cabbage cannon, it's going to be a great night. Now, clean out the grackles in the green room. Also, good news, me, I'm you. And here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Whoa, 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 whoa. My goodness. So, so excited. So excited. So, such an honor. Such an honor. Listen, uh, uh, I, wait, we know you're busy. We know you're busy. Yep. We're hoping just, just banging out one take, all right? Uh, Let's is, go. Can I get you a spritzer? You need water? You nope. need anything? Okay. Ready okay. to roll. Okay. All right. We're rolling. Okay. In three, two, one. And it's, it's right there in front of you. And go. Hello, and welcome to Movie Phone. <laughs> <laughs> if you know the name of the movie that you'd like to see, dial the letters into your touchtone phone. Right now. Okay, listen. Um, uh, uh, that was gold. That was gold. Yep. However, uh, as you know, uh, we are an adult entertainment business. Yeah. So we're gonna need you to zhuzh it up a little bit, and make it a little more re- relevant. Maybe something that's not a competing product that might be confused for gotcha. our product. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Here we go. All right. And all right. Three, two, and go. Hello, and welcome to Horny Phone. <laughs> if you know the name of the body part that you'd like to interact with. Please press the first three letters into your touchtone phone. Boop, boop, boop. You've selected feet. <laughs> These feet are big <laughs> and stinky. You got a couple stinky feet on your hands, and they're on your hands. You're touching them. If you know what you'd like to do to these big stinky feet, please enter the first three letters into your touchtone phone. These feet are covered. (laughs) Covered in you. You've ejaculated on the feet. (laughs) Click. Okay, that was great. Uh, We'll give you 20 bucks and and, and, uh, here's your cubicle. You got it. <laughs> 50 years later, <laughs> I started this company <laughs> coming in off the street, answering every horny phone call <laughs> by hand. <laughs> uh, well, sir, you certainly have grown it into an empire since then. Yep. <laughs> That's all that happens <laughs> 50 years later. <laughs> You'd think that it would be a long form you're, improv. You're, you're but a real grower, nope. not a show. Yep, I, I did it. <laughs> You saw my prequel. Oh, Jacob Smith, you tell the best stories. Yep. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> All right. Hi. Uh, how was your week? It's okay. It's yeah. okay. It's, I don't know. It's a busy yeah. week, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot uh, of shit going on, man. You, you, you were, uh, you were uh, the chattiest I've ever seen you about World's Greatest Con in the green room. Yeah, we're close to the end. And so that's that's good to know. It's good to know. <laughs> it's been driving me crazy. Like it like it's it's normally what all right, so every season of World's Greatest Con, I've had one person at the very least take one episode off my hands. Mm. And that happened in season one, happened in season two. Season three being the most <laughs> if you'd the, like, I'll take one off your hand. The most <laughs> being the most labor intensive. I decided no one should touch it. <laughs> it every, all of it should be me. Well, and, and for good reason. That I think will become apparent. Uh, you know what? We should stop the world's greatest con. Yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, no, but no, no, no. The, the, the long story short is I've been going fucking crazy. I've been going insane uh, doing this. And we're close to the end. And so now I, I can at least... It doesn't doesn't do me any good to hold it in. Well, and, and at, least, uh, at least you'll have that nice... There's nothing more relaxing when you're tense than adding travel to your schedule. I yeah no this is uh, for for reasons that'll be uh, clear later this is this is going to be a fun thing including stuff that you're doing that I'm sure we're going to talk about in our first block. Ooh, good, good save, good save. Buying hop water. If it's, anybody listened to the bones, yeah, then then they they know our newest fascination. We're in, we're in love with hop water, dirty stinky hop water. Rice, you you know it, you love it. Yeah, it's dirty and stinky. <laughs> What would you like to do with the hot water? <laughs> Please enter it in. Uh, beep, 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 beep. You poured it out, you dirty boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, pour it out. It's foam, dry January. I'm doing dry January. Uh, 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 many other people are doing dry January, and so I've I've made my way to the the stores, and I found hop water. Which, by the way, I said I agreed with you like I knew what it was. Before I had it, and then I had it, I'm like, this is the fucking best. 
It's really good. I like it. Well, number one, normally for Dry January, which I've done the last few years, I just chug LaCroix no matter what. I just, I, I'm constantly pounding LaCroix's uh, uh, because they are not just regular water. They kind of taste beery. They have like that same sort of. They, they're, they're, they're just enough of a challenge to drink that, that they don't vanish like an actual water and then you have yeah. to go pee. So I've been drinking a lot of those and then hot water. Non-alcoholic beers come a long way. Like, yeah. like it is really, really, really blown up. And hot water is the latest thing. I think because the seltzers are a big thing. Right. So hot waters are a thing. But a lot of the beer companies are doing hot water, uh, including the one that we found uh, that I brought for the bones. And Sierra now Nevada. I, and now apparently there was only one six pack left at the central market. And I found out it was because Brian Brushwood came in like the fucking Hamburglar <laughs> and <laughs> bought him out I earlier them that day. <laughs> I bought them all out, and then I, I went to the. Uh, that was this morning because I was like, "Oh man, they're only at Central Market. I'm gonna go." And they're stupid expensive. They're like ten bucks for six. They are dumb. Like uh, it is the best idea. Uh, Sierra Nevada will what? become a hop water company mm -hmm. because they could just not make alcohol. And, and and listen to the bones for the full experience. But basically, like a Lacroix, you you bring the hop water up to your mouth, and your nose says, "Woo, somebody's about to have an IPA." And then you drink, you're like, "This is seltzer water." And then the moment you finish, it's like, "Woo, somebody." They just had an IPA. Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, How is it more expensive? It's got less shit in it. Mm -hmm. uh, because you are paying for a bespoke experience. <laughs> you're, 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 sure. You're, yeah. you're paying, yeah, you're paying for, uh, I, I, you're, you're paying you're, the dry tax. Yeah. Yeah, you're exactly. You're giving tax. money to the, you're tithing. <laughs> Basically, yeah. it's like, sorry, you got to pay. So you mentioned. That you have to go to Central Market. Oh, yeah. And so I, I went and I grabbed all five. I literally cleaned them all out. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and then I left. And I guess they found one in the back. And they that's found what you one. Got. And that's but I what went I got. to the front to the self-checkout. And I go, boop. And then it says, it says uh, ding, ding, ding. It's like, uh, please hold. Age verification. Yep. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's fucking water. Yeah. But I guess, like, I know that non-alcoholic beers, well, which right now we're having a Lagunitas IP. In a but 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 Te technically has like point zero five yeah or whatever and I'm sure it's distributed through the same companies yes. as the alcohol things and I'm sure that it just goes and, and, in the and, skew that yeah. right because you find it in the little beer nook right that that they have set up there so it's this weekend and I wake up and I want to watch football with Jim Briney but I want to bring my hop water. So I go to Central Market. Yeah. This is before I went and cleaned them out. Yeah. Okay. This is Sunday. Yeah. At nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. no. <laughs> That's These some bullshit. Motherfuckers will not sell me hop water mm -mm. that has no alcohol in it and proudly says zero alcohol on the side of the can because the skew. For the thing That's says that it's age verified. I could not fucking believe it. I, I just looked at did, it. Did, did you did, tell me you asked for a manager? I no. no I, you you knew you couldn't fight City was, Hall. I was in and out. I was just like I, I just walked up there and I was like, no, I'll bet you they have like a little sign because they like rope off the beer before ten o'clock in Texas. So this is all like shorthand. Uh, uh, there's a blue law in Texas that you can't buy beer. It used to be before noon. Right now it's right. just till ten. Yeah. Uh, uh, which I don't know. I was trying to puzzle this out with, with Joe and Jim when we were watching football. Like, is it just for the forgetful alcoholics who are also very much on the, the razor's edge of going to church? I mean, what, 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 it, like, because it can't be the pre-planning alcoholics I, who I don't want to go to I'm church. I'm certain it's a middle ground as, you know, it used to be county by county. There were dry counties, but then they would work around it. Uh, do you remember Unicards? Did you ever get a Unicard in Never a small a town? Never had So uh, you do a gig in a small town, you go to the Chili's, and then they would say, uh, oh. uh, you, you would order a beer, and they'd say, well, this is a dry county. I can't give you a beer. How, uh, however, our we do have a members-only club. Yeah. If you want to join our club, then I can serve you a beer. Yeah. Uh, well, what is the price of admission? Zero dollars. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, well, do I get a card? It's like, well, you can get a card if you want to give me money for a card, or we could just write your name down as a member. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okie dokie. In, in Nacogdoches, there was the Honorable Order of the Red Men, and uh, there was a, a, a bar right downtown and that was the only way you could get in there yeah and uh yeah but that was 
That was back in the day. Uh, blue blue laws are fucked up. Like, uh, yeah. is this still the case that in Pennsylvania you have to buy, you have to go into a fucking tavern to buy a six pack? I don't know if it's if, if you have to buy it. No, because uh, Pennsylvania has state run liquor stores, so all the liquor stores are run by the state, right? And then I guess you can buy beer to go from a bar, right? But yeah. they, you won't find them in a grocery store. You will not find yeah. them in a grocery store. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, so I couldn't buy fucking hot water. It's just like, like, like what, what the fuck? The whole point of this whole shit is that I'm supposed to not drink. I'm trying to not drink, so, and so, you're getting in the way of me not drinking. Here's the first: you get in the way of me drinking, <laughs> and then you get in the way of me not fucking drinking. When will you not fuck with me? Why didn't you just get Topo Chico or another? Yeah. Ah, it's fuck not you! Same. It's not the same. Oh, I didn't want Topo Chico. Water. I don't want Topo Chico. I want. Sierra Nevada hop water. I want to pay $10 for six cans <laughs> of Sierra Nevada hop water. Well, and, and that's the thing. This is obviously a fairly new product. I had assumed that they want to they want to keep it kind of exclusive. They'd rather keep it next to the beer aisle and not just have it next to the LaCroix or whatever. Yeah, I think that's why they can charge $10 for it. It's yeah. it's next to a bunch of other shit Fucking that looks water. $10. Like, like, it's water. You, you, thought, it's you water. thought water at a concert was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> how about, how about <laughs> skunky water for infinite more of the cost? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I love it. I love it so. Stop getting in my way, Texas. Uh, Bryce, next topic. Shatner update. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, we've got the, the gig is, is this Friday, Friday the 13th in Lubbock, yep. Texas. Tell everyone you know in Lubbock, Texas to go to the Buddy Holly Hall and see Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, objectively the best of all the Star Trek anythings, and stick around for 40 minutes of Brian asking questions to William Shatner, followed by about 10 minutes of Q&A from the audience. <laughs> um, but uh, one of the things I've been soliciting is ideas for questions that uh, we, we did that last week. Um, you brought up the excellent question of what did you have to pass on? It's always a good question. Mm -hmm. You know, what's the role that got away? Um, uh, we talked about his various careers, music, and uh, oh, uh, oh uh, one, one one important twist on on the role that got away: the role you had to pass on. Oh, got it. Got so it. it's always yeah, it's th him. That's what I wrote down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, 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 of course we're gonna end. I'm gonna save till the end. You know, like so you went to space, huh? I actually, I was thinking about what a good question it was. Remember when we did the David Comey interview? Yeah. And your first question was, David, when did you start rocking? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to ask a version of that, like, when did you become William Shatner? Yeah. Because, I mean, this... That's a great, no, that's a great question. When yeah. did you become William Shatner? Uh, so, um, uh, how to ride... Story. Out of my father's balls. <laughs> I hope that's I answer. shot at warp speed. Yeah. Uh, how to ride scary horses, because he loves horses, and I can't seem to ride horses because they're big scared rabbits and i'm scared of them s killing me um so, the, uh, so you want horse whispering tips yes yeah oh, there you yeah. go yeah i think he'll dig that how do you how do i get on a horse here's one i stumbled across because we've got one right now <laughs> <laughs> so uh one that popped into my head was i forgot that i was traumatized at the age of five because of william shatner leading in kingdom of the spiders oh yeah uh, you, the, you've mentioned that before. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can finally ask for an apology. <laughs> because also, what I really want to know—I don't know if he'll talk out of school—but what I really want to know is how many fucking tarantulas did you stomp on and kill on that show? Because that's that's no. There's no PETA announcement at the end of that. They like the Milo and Otis thing. Yeah, they just no, ran they, yeah. more spiders off. Oh. Uh, and then finally, somebody brought up a really good one. Uh, do you remember William Shatner was in a whole movie, the only Hollywood feature film shot entirely in Esperanto? Yep. No. Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, if, like, native Esperanto speakers like to roll their eyes at his pronunciation or whatever, but it's like, what a fucking Motherfucker made more of an effort than there, anybody than, ever. Than, than the people who did Esperanto, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, no, some people raised their children with Esperanto as a first language, and these poor humans... Now have an accent in and nobody to hear their native tongue. Well, it's not a native language; it's a totally made up language. Correct, which is why like it never Klingon. took root because there was no cultural uh, uh, anchor outside of like. Wait, a belief so what in, is what is the what is Esperanto then? It's a completely it's, fabricated it's, language. I mean, but are it was all right, languages it's, it's, completely well, no, fabricated? No, no, well, but but they're they're handed down. This one was invented from scratch, like Klingon. 
Uh, it's largely Romance languages. It's a blend of mm. you know your your Spanish and English and, st and stuff like that. They wanted to make it easy-ish for most of the world to learn, and it's like everybody should learn this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and instead, what happened is everybody pretty much learned English. It was the metric. It was the metric. Uh, it was the, it was the swatch beats of, yeah, of languages. Beats. So wait, of when language. did it That's happen? Right. I always thought for whatever reason that it was like a Native American language. No, 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 no. no. Esperanto was was a a high ideal. United Nations, United. that'll be oh, our official language really? world. Yeah. Holy shit. So yeah. it was like some real hippy dippy utopia shit. Yeah. And, and this was again. in the late 1800s. Oh, wow. 1870s and early 1880s. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So uh, uh, I first learned about it in the languages of science fiction class that I took in college. It basically, it was a, a linguistics 101, but they had the word science fiction in there. But, uh, but it so never took it, off because nobody grew up or knew if it. If there or... was a child speaking Esperanto as a first language, you knew for sure their parents were annoying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, like, without a doubt. There's nobody. You, could, you couldn't call that, them because that, they probably didn't have a phone. Oh, my God. <laughs> that yeah. kid would get to uh, uh, decide their own name. Oh, <laughs> yeah. fuck it. And yeah. change yeah. it as often as they want. Yeah. What's his name? We're going to let him. We're going to let him decide. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or them. We're going to let them decide. I mean, now, geez, yeah, yeah holy moly. Uh, how, many, uh, how many are you? How many do you want to be? Uh, so <laughs> Most they do is take an over-under when they were born. <laughs> <laughs> what do they in the end up? A certificate. Three and a half. That's where we're at. Three uh, and a half? Yeah, yeah, depending on how many I they wanted feel, to be. I feel that's, this many. That seems yeah. very high to me, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bryce, well, we have another story. Then. Yeah. Uh, we do have another story. Unkind bars. Wait, before, before we go any further, Lubbock, uh, this Friday, the 13th, you and Buddy William Holly Shatner, yep. uh, Buddy William, Holly Theater. WilliamShatnerTour.com. WilliamShatnerTour.com. Oh, 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 uh, one little button on that. Uh, somebody hit up on Twitter saying, like, uh, oh, my gosh, I, I work at a, I think it was a comic shop or whatever. I would love to meet you if you can come by. I was like, hey, man, come to the show. And uh, and he's like he's like oh no I'm working but I mean great to see you the only way it would be better is if I also got to meet at Mighty Heaton as well and I was like motherfucker he there's one person flying in Heaton, for this show Heaton is gonna be there I'm gonna be there so if you are anywhere in or around the Lubbock area then please uh, uh, pull on up because we're gonna be around yeah uh, okay unkind bars so I was high this weekend and. Uh, <laughs> I, so unusual. Yeah, I was I was high on pot, and I I got to thinking about these al these non alcoholic uh, the hop waters and the non alcoholic beers and everything, and and they're very like one of the things that they've done with these non alcoholic drinks is they do not skimp on the graphic design. The graphic design is there to look exactly like a beer. They want you to have the experience. They they don't they don't you to feel like you are giving up anything in terms of the aesthetic journey that you would go on in interacting with these products. Uh, and then that made me think about beer label design. And I'm like, well, now all they want, to, especially the seltzers, they want to look like health drinks. Like, like they want to look like Diet Coke. Like, they want to look like uh, 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 LaCroix. <laughs> Diet Coke was your go-to health drink? <laughs> what, you know, Diet Coke tries, like, like right. especially back in the 80s, they tried to, like, market themselves like they were, like, they, they, half they had, medicine. They, they, had, they had, like, vitamins in it, uh, Diet Coke Plus or yeah. whatever. Yeah, like, like they, they, went through, they went out of their ways. So there's this kind of convergence right now where, like, the bad stuff wants to be good and, and the good stuff wants to be bad. Like, they're, they're going in separate directions. Separate thought. While I'm thinking about this, um, I go to a 7-Eleven and I'm like, I'm hungry. And <laughs> I see a kind bar and I'm like, oh, kind bar. That looks like health food. It has. It's got the colors. Yeah, the colors. It has healthy colors. It's like, yeah. like kind. It's got protein. Like, like you're being There's kind. It has the word body. protein on it. Yeah, yeah, it has sugar and protein on it. Then Are you healthy. eat it and you're like, this is a fucking candy bar. <laughs> yep. This is just a regular ass candy bar. So then I gets to thinking, <laughs> <laughs> what if Snickers <laughs> just decided that they were going to be a health food brand? And so they just design it and they have like a, a, a you know, Rocky Mountain kind of. Oh, like that would thing be a great it. limited edition run. I got the name. What is it? Canyon. 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 
Because that's just the earth smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so, so the mar- <laughs> Was it, you, uh, that was definitely a high thought with the earth smiling. On there. <laughs> so, so what is what does the ad look like for Canyon? Uh, and first of all, why is it voiced by uh, what's his name with the big mustache? Uh, Sam yeah, Elliott. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Your uh, Gibbons. Uh, 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 when you need to know <laughs> that you're here for the right reasons, <laughs> you will reach in your saddle pack. And you pull out a canyon. <laughs> Packed with peanuts. <laughs> Packed with peanuts. It really satisfies. <laughs> I have a follow-up question. Canyon. Because that's just the earth smiling. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> question. Do you, yes. keep, do you keep the dick vein on the uh, canyon? Oh, yeah. Well, you have to yeah. because, because a canyon is, is Mother Earth's pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And that's why you have put, to yeah, put your canyon. nuts in your <laughs> veiny <laughs> rod right in Mother if Earth's If you'd like to interact canyon. with Mother Earth's pussy, <laughs> enter Get the first stuff. three letters into your touchstone <laughs> phone. <laughs> just, just like, you know, canyons are a lot like pussies. What happens next? You got big ones, small ones, wet ones, and dry ones. <laughs> but one thing they all love is your nuts. <laughs> You're just Canyon. listing genitalia now. Yep. You're just saying what genitalia. I just are. like Brian. Uh, no, let uh, Brian needs to go as long as he wants. On, <laughs> uh, unhinged, horny Sam Elliott doing <laughs> an Earth documentary. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh that's all. Oh, that's that's great. They begin their thousand year journey <laughs> down <laughs> Mother Earth's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of the devil's anus. <laughs> Oh, you haven't? Allow you heard me of, to tell you. You heard of the Grand Tetons. This is M- Mama Green's Cooter. <laughs> Price, Mama Green's Cooter. Price, next topic. <laughs> That'd be a trail mix. Joy and her bread, too. So we, t- we told the Give story. us this joy, her daily bread. So we told the story of how Joy woke me up trying to smother me with bread that one time, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, today uh, uh, I had uh, uh, this kind of funny moment. I, I woke up and let the dogs out. They, they go pee. Bonnie took Penny to way up north, an hour and a half north, to go make a sword. She forged a sword today. And uh, uh, so. Where does that happen? Uh, that at the 7 Eleven, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Bonnie's, got his, Bonnie's a little irascible about it. She drove an hour and a half north, and apparently three days ago, he added another stop to his tour in Dripping Springs. Oh. Yeah. yeah. She found out after she got there. Yeah. She, she, she sent me a movie. Wait, this is like a sword man who goes from town to town? Yeah. And, and, and sword let, man. And, sword <laughs> man over here. <laughs> Get your sword. Sword man. He's in, he's in, a, he's in a shitty fucking white man, yeah. but he plays the Game of Thrones theme on a xylophone. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, yeah, he ding, drives ding, ding, around ding, on a ding, on a penny ding, farthing. Ding, yeah, <laughs> playing it. Sword man, <laughs> blades, <laughs> knives, and daggers. <laughs> uh, so uh, I wake up and I let the dogs out to go pee, and uh, it's a lovely day out. And so I, uh, you know, I open the door. Joy comes in. Uh, big Weimar on her, and uh, uh, Pippi's still out there Which, pooping or whatever. Wait, wait, real quick. Can I pause on Joy? Yeah. So you released the uh, uh, Christmas video. It was a compilation. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the of, mega one. Of how long you guys have been doing it. I, it's been a minute since I've been to your house. Oh, yeah. Because now, oh, no, we, mostly, now we mostly just <laughs> yeah. hang out here. It's not the state of your house. The state of your house being in in total shambles is something that like <laughs> you guys have been in a constant wave of children for for fucking uh, 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 damn near two decades now. Yep. Uh, what shocked me <laughs> was I know what this is. The fucking supermax cage that they have for joy. <laughs> yeah. This Weimar on it, like you would think it was fucking Magneto in the X Men. <laughs> Like it has like like two magnetic seals, and you need like like four uh, fingerprints to get in it. And but I, this shit is like this is not a dog cage. This is meant to hold the world's most dangerous midget. <laughs> and on top of that, the actual uh, ceilings uh, aren't enough. There's a C clamp on there that I have to undo. Do you know why that's there? Because she broke out. Yes, she's figured out wow. how to open the goddamn thing and get out. So uh, <laughs> so. 
Joy comes in, Pippi's outside, uh, the, the, the little miniature uh, Australian shepherd. And so, uh, you know, I'm talking with Bonnie or whatever, and it's like, oh, it's been a long time. And then, and then finally, uh, after like five minutes, I'm like, is she ever going to come in? And then Pippi comes running down from upstairs. And I'm like, oh, that's funny. She went upstairs and was just poking around, I guess. And so I closed the gate, and, and I'm like, oh, there's, there's Joy. She's being so good, and she's got her new toy. Let me tell Bonnie that funny story. And I tell Bonnie, and I was like, oh, man, no, it's just a great morning. And, and I thought Pippi was outside. Turns out she was upstairs, and she just came down. Uh, meanwhile, oh, Joy just loving this new toy. And she's like, which new toy? And it's like, I don't know, it's like a, like a, like a wiener or something, like a wiener. And she goes, what? <laughs> and then uh, I'm like, yeah, no, it's like, it's like this. Thing. And I was like, well, here, let me, let me FaceTime you. And Joy, and Joy, just happy as can be. She's finally sitting down with her toy and just starting to bite at it and, mm -hmm. and pull at it like, like dogs do. And then Bonnie goes, um, that is Josie's most valuable plushie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it was it was a cartoon uh, baguette, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and and, uh, and so and so I was like, oh shit! And, and so I said to the phone, and so I grab it, and, and um, uh, Joy knows that when we say thank you, thank you, that means like, oh, you retrieved it for us. And, yeah. And so I feel her try to try to open up her mouth, but this is clearly the best thing she's ever gotten her mouth on. <laughs> and so she. Ah. Ah, I'm trying, boss. I'm really trying. And then finally, I begin to tug, and she goes, <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, thank you. And then I put, I, I put my uh, middle finger and thumb around the bottom part of her jaw, and the moment my fingers touch her tongue, she knows it's over. And she's like, ah, fuck you, right? Yeah. And so uh, I, I show it to Bonnie. This thing is covered in mud. It is a disaster, and Bonnie knows that Josie is going to lose her shit when she gets home. And so uh, uh, I come up with a brilliant idea of like, well, let's let it dry and see how much of this fl <laughs> flicks off or whatever. And uh, like four hours later, I'm pause here. you right there. Yeah, yeah. If it's destroyed, this is a great Disney Plus reboot of Jingle All the Way. <laughs> <laughs> I need bread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, it, the story ends anticlimactically with us success. But, like I'm sitting here using my fingernails to pull off all the little bits of dried clods or whatever. Uh, Bonnie gets home and I'm like, and I'm like, I don't know. I got as much of it as I could. I spent an hour, and the body's like, okay. She grabs a hairbrush and just goes, tur, 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 and it's all fine. <laughs> yeah, because I'm an idiot. Anyway. But it was fine. Yeah, baguette, baguette was good. Yeah, I don't know if we should tell her or not. Well, at least she doesn't watch our show. No. Oh goodness, thank God. You've heard of the devil's anus. Oh, God. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Next topic! <laughs> <laughs> Speaker Town and Camera Rights. I see you in the chat asked if I could wash it. No, uh, then it'll all just be permanently stained. You got to light uh, with dirt. It'll flick off. Yeah. Dirt will flick off. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. <laughs> Chapter one. Dirt will flick off. <laughs> Chapter two. God. Chapter three, ad break. God, uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you planning to uh, supercharge your business with Squarespace? <laughs> if not, you should. Now back to home care tips with God. Chapter three, God's bored. <laughs> okay. Chapter so, four. Wait, sorry, uh, 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 I lost the thread. What's the story? Speaker down and camera rights. Oh, yeah. This is yours. The C SPAN stuff. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, the biggest oh, political boy, news boy, of the boy, past 48 oh. hours. I don't know. Yeah. Speaker town and camera rights? Yeah, no. Because that is exactly what you were saying yeah. at the yep. production meeting. Did I meeting. say that? You, yes. Yes. Wow, at least I know it's not the booze. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just slowly deteriorating. You want me to play you in again on this? No. Yeah, no. Actually, no. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaker town and camera rights. Why'd you keep talking about pussies before? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> those are, they're fun. Yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah. No, I, I wasn't criticizing. I was just curious your process. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> what? <They're>, uh, canyons. <laughs> yeah. They're like a void. A void. What, what, what else is like? Right. Gotcha. Uh, we okay. spent the green room talking about yeah. me shooting heads of lettuce out of out my of butt. butthole. And yeah. I feel like that that was all tore up. And then uh, it's a uh, what your else? Butthole. It's like, yeah. yeah. From the lettuce. Yeah. yeah. Let us pray <laughs> for your butthole. <laughs> yes. 
We can go to the chapter topic. five. We can do another topic. God's like, I gotta do something with this space. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Congress. <laughs> Congress <laughs> is made of two bodies, <laughs> the House and the Senate. Yeah. The House can't form until a speaker is there, and so many people who <laughs> are watching... Congress loves each other very much. Yep. They come together for one beautiful moment that normally, uh, uh, unless it's right before a world war or a civil war, right. uh, 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 they determine one day whether or not, or who the speaker's going to be. And so last week, it took... Many more than one day, and it ended in the wee hours of the evening. Or sorry, yeah, uh, uh, on Friday night, Saturday morning. But it was awesome because C-SPAN got to keep their cameras there because they normally are there at the beginning because it's before a government forms. And once a government forms, then regardless of parties, they decide, no, you're going to get the C-SPAN camera that you know, which is that boring lockdown shot of mm -hmm. the speaker because you have to obey what the government tells you what well, you, you're not allowed c-span's cameras are not allowed in there that's a government feed oh why wow. they're given so their cameras get kicked out once the government forms and so it just so happened that with a lot of eyes on it and by the way if you watch that coverage anywhere cnn msnbc Fox News. Those, the C Those were C-SPAN's cameras and C-SPAN's cameramen that were getting all that footage. And it was fucking awesome. Like, they, they got high-level shit and, like, real drama happening. So it has led to what used to, uh, a more popular call for what used to simply be the domain of nerds like me. Now it's more nerds. <laughs> uh, uh, and that is to allow C-SPAN to keep their cameras in there all year round yeah uh because i think we all saw what happens when you can actually bring democracy alive and watch these people interact with each other and see who's there see who's not there see like like how they interact whether or not they're yelling and screaming uh because there there was some fucking high drama that happened it actually made this shit palatable people might actually give a fuck about what happens in their government if they were able to see it like that so i've talked to uh, uh folks at c-span they have released a letter, an open letter, asking for there to be uh, 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 cameras in the field or cameras in in the house in Congress. The speaker, the new speaker, although it took him a, took him a minute, uh, Kevin McCarthy has indicated that he's not totally against it. There is a amendment being offered. Don't look up who if you're sensitive to politics because it's one of the people that you either really like or really hate. Uh, <laughs> but you can and should call the Speaker of the House, his office, Kevin we, McCarthy. We could give that phone number out, right? Uh, I mean, it's publicly available on the Internet, so you can spam it in the chat. Yeah. yeah. But call Kevin McCarthy's office tomorrow and say... I want my C-SPAN <laughs> uh, uh, that, that, that you believe be respectful. Nothing, nothing gets done if, if you are screeching and, and yelling. And also it seems like he's not against it, which is something that has not happened for uh, with, with a speaker for a very long time. But I think it would be rad. It would make my life a lot easier and more fun. And it, it, would it would certainly make your, your style of coverage uh, a lot more popular. I mean, if the, the closer it gets to actual pro wrestling, the more your pro wrestling style is going to Well, ring. Yeah, I mean, and, and beyond the, the, the pro wrestling element, I think the stuff that was the most fascinating was the fact that you saw a lot of people that are normally in the pro wrestling world uh, element of politics arch enemies. They are, they are good guy and bad guy. And yet... Paul Gozer and uh, uh, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez are just sitting next to each other, bullshitting, like and and talking. That's something that I think is important. It, like it's important that we don't make everybody into this gigantic mm -hmm. uh, a demonization festival. I think it's better for everybody, and so uh, I will be doing it tomorrow. I'm going to be plugging it on every podcast that I do until somebody officially says this is definitely not happening. Uh, and I think it would be good for everybody, and especially considering. There's a bunch of rabble rousers in this audience, I think a lot of whom probably enjoyed that coverage over the last week. Speaker McCarthy, give him a call. Say, keep those cameras in. So uh, the only way I even knew about the brouhaha or the type of coverage that was happening was because uh, I stumbled across uh, the bad lip reading of, of the debate on there. 
And in our pre-pro meeting, we were talking about like whether or not we wanted to. Die. It's only a minute long. Oh, but the, the question was like, will that play for audio? And my my thesis that we're about to test right now is I think that the, that what they're saying is so inherently funny that you don't just picture a bunch of white dudes saying this and it matches their lips. Yeah, yeah. And and, and for folks who, who are listening to this who might have seen the footage because it's fairly famous footage. This was at the very end. Uh, uh, there's a big coronation vote for Kevin McCarthy to finally become speaker. And then one dude, Matt Gates, decides to vote present instead of for McCarthy because some of his other holdouts also went rogue. And so nobody really wants to do another vote, but this guy does not want to be on the record as having voted for him. And so for the first time after an entire week, <laughs> Kevin McCarthy gets off his ass because he's trying to play the like the 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 the, the, he the diplomat the entire time. He gets up and goes to have a conversation with him, and that's what this bad lip so, reading so, is. Uh, uh, was there audio of this, or or you just no? Uh, you could when people were yelling, you could hear people yell, but you could not hear. Oh, so this is great. So so this is this is almost like uh, <laughs> so so nobody actually knows what's being nobody said. Nobody actually but, unless you read lips, like right. <laughs> like you do not know what actually is being well, said. As far as I'm concerned, this is canon. Here, go ahead and play it, son. What does the gopher build? Can you say it? Well, who knows? A really rich doctor said you were a bummer. And I think you don't know algebra. No, we're talking science, bud. The science of what? Is that a tiger? One of your friends promised me I could flick you in your face. Absolutely, you may not do that. Hit him in his cringy smirk, for real. Say any cereal name. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> You're like people in the 12th century. Why do you say it like that? You're a formulated <laughs> pickle popper. In the storm cloud. I don't like you, dude. And there's a tiger. Oh, that's it. You two guys sent the tiger. Uh, I, no, not, not me. What? I mean, <laughs> I mean, that is reprehensible. Okay, yeah. Okay, Brad, I'm a horrible person. Brad. <laughs> I'll report you to Nadine. <laughs> I just want your leg bones to be okay. <laughs> I brought the tiger. <laughs> <laughs> that's really as good as it gets, is the I brought the tiger. The <laughs> that's, that's how I say goodnight to the kids now, as I lean over and say, I brought the tiger. I brought the tiger. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. We got a, oh, we had the phone number, but I missed it. Uh, yeah. 202-225-4000. Uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy. Tell him, please keep the cameras. Because these are funny videos. And especially if you are from the Bakersfield area, where which is his district, then then definitely do it because it matters more uh, that that happened. And offer him a tiger. And offer him a tiger. Uh, you, you know what? Did uh, you bring the tiger? Ask him if you brought the tiger. <laughs> tiger. Um, so, uh, hey, man, we love doing this show, and we'd like to do it forever and ever. Mm-hmm. That's true. Uh, until but we need energy of protein, the kind of protein that only comes from a canyon bar. <laughs> when you need the energy of protein to do your comedy show where you reference pussies a lot, <laughs> you reach into your pack and you pull out a canyon. <laughs> canyon is just the earth smiling. <laughs> uh, you can help us buy lots of canyon bars <laughs> if you get, go to patreon.com slash great night when you know you need to give me money <laughs> you can go to patreon.com slash great night because you get a bonus podcast each and every week yeah and they're good they're really good they're damn good <laughs> not as good as a canyon bar not as good as a canyon <laughs> Head on over to patreon.com slash great night. You get your own RSS feed and you get to keep us in business. Business. The business of doing business. And business exactly. Is good. And business is booming, brother. Yeah. BBB. Uh, hey, Bryce, you got a game for us? I do have a game for you. Hello, everybody. This is a new game I'm calling This Night in History. Yay! Hooray! Hey! Uh, uh, this night in history, bum, 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 it's bum. gonna go down to be bum, bum, bum. a history night for the ages. Ha, 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 ha. And when we look on back, yep. And the <laughs> father blows his stack. What? Because we didn't remember today. No way. In history, for you and me. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Cat that's crack. Right.
So I got a trivia game here all about the things that happened on this night or day in history. You guys are all going to guess each round, and the closest answer will win. Brett, would you like to play? Absolutely not. Okay. Do you mind keeping score for me? Yeah, I will do that. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, all right. So today is January 10th. Let's rewind the clock here a little bit. I got a question for you. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. I. All right. The year is 1776. What? Thomas Paine publishes Common Sense. How many pages? Oh, give me taxes, son. <laughs> I love tea. <laughs> Thank goodness this republic, uh, this this not a rep this empire will never have an uprising. Everybody smart goes to the bar and yells at each other. <laughs> ah, Ben Franklin's drunk again. Oh, I, I, I have a I have a horse. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, these are common sounds you'd hear in 1776. I was going to say, you, I, 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 sorry, we're building an audio soundscape. I don't know if you knew this, but I'm an audio production genius. So, like, <laughs> this is how the sausage is made. That's right. Mm. So, Thomas Paine uh, published Common Sense on this day in uh, 1776. The question for you, gentlemen, is how long is Common Sense? How Ooh. many pages long is Common Sense? This is back Thomas before Payne? they had uh, a lot of paper. Is that including the Silmarillion? <laughs> that, that, that's, the, that's the enhanced edition That's okay. the digital deluxe They didn't have that on that Abadil's one not on this one uh, We're looking for how many pages long well, is you got, you got to get this just right Because essentially sense. I'm taking the over or under Oh, what? I don't, I don't fucking know, man How many pages? Yeah. I mean, it's common sense Yeah It's not advanced sense It's not exclusive It's not, it's not you know, he's not doing It's, not, it's common, it's not uh, uncommon or rare He's teaching you how to do the ollie, not the 450 Or epic or legendary Yeah mm -hmm. No, it's common it Takes no credit And the, ra the rapper Logic It's not 3D uh, Jay-Z yeah. Old, no, it's common. Thing. Yeah. Any other well, Brett, do you have any common words? We're waiting on how Brett, many pages Brett, do you, do you think it is. Well, no, I'm trying to think my way through here. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't know. Right, you know what point, like, what point like, are you like over pages? Like, like, I mean, the most exclusive would be like a two-page book. That's I guess those pamphlet. are called pamphlets. <laughs> yeah. But those were hot back then, too. Zines were really in in 1776. The original zines. Yeah. OZ. They were running them off their fucking employer's copy machine, too. Common sense is technically considered a pamphlet. I will say. All right. Oh. Common sense is five pages. This is going to say five pages for common sense. Brian. I, I was leaning more towards like 60 pages. You're going to say 60 pages. Yeah. All right. There we go. We got your answers here. Thomas Paine's common sense is. You were looking for 47 pages. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's, a cheat and say three. that's a oh my goodness uh, ladies and gentlemen andrew heaton is here in the house yeah andrew uh, just heaton, we, heaton, we did said you, did thomas you know, Payne's did you common know that, sense and he apparated he did <laughs> did you know how many pages common sense was heaton he said 45 you. and 50 <laughs> you know he definitely <laughs> yeah. walked in at the right time uh, oh, okay. get him uh, kick him out son of a get gun. him out <laughs> i don't like him I'm all right 40, here. 45 and 50 this wise ass <laughs> that's right all right, here's another one for you. Brian, we're going to go to you on this one. Ready? We're going to take it back to 49 B.C. Oh, my God. On, oh, wait, it's known on January 10th, uh, 49 B.C.? Uh, 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 and it was a Tuesday I, then. Oh, uh, fire good? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, we better uh, invent a lot of shit uh, because Christ is going to be born in 40 years. Oh, uh, no, time running out for us. <laughs> <laughs> Roman centurions just, just run them down. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, when is, what's happening in 40, whatever, BC? 49 BC. 49 BC. Uh, 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 oh, so it's biblical times. Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, new, in fact, it's after. Mer! Oh. Mer! <laughs> Mer for sale! Joseph is a young man at this uh, point. Yeah. Gold. I have gold. Why am I so popular? Oh, young Joseph, uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, whatever it is, I'm going to come in a woman and a baby's going to happen. <laughs> I don't want to be a cuckold, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Uh, soundscapes. Soundscapes, Bryce. <laughs> sure, sorry. All right, the year is 49 BC. The question, we're going to start with you on this one, Brian. Ready? Julius Caesar crosses the Rubicon with which legion? Oh, oh. Uh, 49 BC, Julius Caesar crosses the Rubicon River with which legion? This the, is the, all the American on January legion. 10th? 
Uh, he, uh, yes. This one is believed to be either the ninth or tenth, I believe. But yeah, yes. but we went over before. They didn't even really keep calendars, and they weird. didn't even have January for a Those while. Fucking screwballs, crazy. <laughs> Just winter. <laughs> People in the chat are saying the five hundred first stormtroopers. Man, I got, I got nothing. Uh, I, I uh, something centurions. Uh, that sounds that sounds like yeah, we're centurions. <laughs> That's how they talked. <laughs> There's, there's only one rule to be an odd legion. <laughs> you have to talk like this. So I don't need training or anything. No! You, well, you need, need to voice train training. your voice. Don't you need voice training? I'm really out of shape. Good! <laughs> also, I got this bum knee. I've never fought. Perfect! Can you do the voice? No, not good enough. <laughs> You'll never be in the Centurion Legion. <laughs> Centurion Legion, final answer. All this feels so right, it has to be true. All right. <laughs> oh, pause, pause. He could do a one-man show. If you set him off on the right night, he could do a 90-minute one-man show. I don't, I don't know whether or not it's cheating <laughs> that it's funnier that Brian trying to do improv that he finds funny. He has an inability to not laugh at himself, <laughs> but it's legitimately one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Like more funny than if he were just a fucking whip crack, awesome improv person. <laughs> All right, there you go. He's got uh, the Centurions. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, Julius Caesar crossed the Rubicon with which legion? Oh. French foreign. <laughs> 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 then they all caught that disease. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Rubicon. <laughs> I know. Legionnaires. They got they got they got Rubicon's disease. <laughs> Rubicon rickets, they called them. <laughs> uh, 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 knuckle on. Apply directly to your knuckles. I don't know. <laughs> Why did the, the knuckles? Apply, to, apply directly to the knuckles. <laughs> apply directly to the knuckles. <laughs> God, what a what an advertising campaign that was. Yeah. Just We're kept still yelling the same shit over and over at you. I mean, and here we are still talking about it. Patreon.com yeah. slash great night. Patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> that, that should be the... Uh, yeah. the there was apparently like in the early 20th century, people would write articles and then they would just be all like... In spring, the flowers bloom, and the best Ford motor cars are available. All caps in there, and it was like, and the bees come out, <laughs> and they, they like that's where they would inject them. Do you think they ever wrote really, really funny articles, and then just wrote ha 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 in the middle of it? I mean, I know, I know what that's what I would do. Is I, I was the editor in chief. <laughs> no. Not enough ha ha has. <laughs> no, we phase back in time, like Cornelius Brushwood. <laughs> Cornelius, <laughs> like. like <laughs> And and then the father came home and ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got your answer. Just got big fucking mutton chops. <laughs> okay. uh, well, uh, 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 what was your answer? Oh, the French Foreign League. Okay, the French right. I have no fucking idea. The Centurions or the. There we go. All right, well, let's find out the answer to this. We were looking for. The 13th Twin Legion. We were looking for the 13th Twin Sorry. Legion. The 13th Twin Legion. Slash Legio XIII Gemina. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. Wait. Oh. I swear to God, if you've been secretly it's hiding right a there. legion yeah. of centurions. What is he? He's gone to the back. No. Oh, he's pulled a Something phone. that has never happened in the history of Great Night. Are you going to call someone? I am pausing this game. Because we have a mini game. What? Within the game. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, I introduce to you for the first time ever. It's what unhinged political bumper stickers did I see on a Ford <laughs> F-150 coming out to the studio? <laughs> Family Feud! <laughs> 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 I've already done this for Heaton and Brian, so I am going to play with Bryce. Bryce. Okay. Yes, sir. Three answers on the board. Unhinged political bumper stickers. And when I say unhinged, I mean unfucking hinged. Uh, what is your first guess? Uh, the 
coexist bumper sticker, but the letters are guns. <laughs> Holy answer. fucking Good shit! Answer. Holy Good answer. shit! That needs to Good happen answer. fast. Good answer. Good answer. I'm sure I've seen that Can somewhere. And I see the coexist bumper sticker, but all the letters are made out of guns. And ah. oh. You get two more guesses, Bryce. That was a good, okay. good answer. Good answer. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Two uh, more guesses. Right, two go. more guesses. All right. Two more guesses. Two more guesses. Uh, 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 Trump, Kanye, twenty twenty four. Yeah. All right. All right. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Answer. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. So okay, somebody who's an unhinged political Trump. bumper sticker Ford F one fifty man, also very up on the news. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, okay. That's here that, we go. Uh, Where is on. it? Trump, Kanye. Ah. Oh. One more good. guess. One more guess, Bryce. All right. And the weavers are over there planning out their steel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unhinged, right? Yes. Uh, no, I, no. I, I, here's a pro tip. You're in Texas. I'm. Uh, uh, tiger. Something about tiger. I, oh, oh, okay. Hold so, on. So think, Un think, think not just right. Think extraordinarily Right. Remarkably right. Okay. Remarkably right. Remarkably. Maybe, maybe even so far right, it's it's off the map. Like we are talking unhinged. Oh. Uh, um. I stand for Abbott. Uh, 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 uh. Oh goodness, this is so tough. Um. Uh, you got this. Uh, you got this. Uh, defund the schools. I'm gonna go with defund the schools. <laughs> Good answer. Good, Good answer. answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right. Good answer. Uh, it's your last chance, Bryce. Defund the schools. And ah! oh. we're gonna swing on over to the Weavers. Uh, 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 you have one chance to steal. To steal. One chance to steal. Beautiful. Unhinged. Political bumper stickers. It is on a tan Ford F-150. Oh, you didn't say it was tan. <laughs> Relevant <laughs> details <laughs> withheld. A -A <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, 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 so this was driving uh, toward Dripping Springs on 290 as I was making my way to the studio on Monday. Brett, you've had your time. It's an unhinged political bumper sticker. You have three options. What's your guess? Uh, Texas should secede from Austin. Oh, oh, good that's, answer. That's, that's, okay, that's the right ballpark. Good, that's good answer. answer. Right. Good, All good, right. answer. good answer. Texas should secede from Austin. And oh. oh man, I'm All sorry, right. guys. This mini game. Uh, uh, here's what it was. Uh, Bumper sticker number one. Number one. Ding. Fuck authority. Fuck authority. Oh, fuck authority. Uh, say with me. Who killed JFK? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and of course, 9 11 was an inside, inside job. We now return you to Harvey. your regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> We didn't even get to the answers of this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mini game. It was a mini game. Oh, we it's gave like, uh, we gave the that's right. The, we gave the point to Brian because Centurion is like a hundred and a hundred is a number. Oh, yeah. there we go. There we go. Good answer. We got an answer. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, this is this is like Mario Party. <laughs> no. <that's, laughs> uh, Brett, what is the score going into our the next round? The score so far is Justin with nothing but a very interesting mini game. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Brian with two whole points. Deuces. He's this many. Deuces. Many. That's right. The Duke. There we go. Old we? poopy. Yeah. Uh, that's right. All right, we're going to go to our next one. This is a famous birthday alert. Oh. Boo. All right. Boo. Yeah. Boo. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. Famous birthday alert. What happy what birthday to rock icon Pat Benatar? Ooh, How that's old? a fun game. Ask, uh, guess a lady's age. Yep. Well, she's a celebrity. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll hit it with my best shot. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Aging's a battlefield. Hey. Be careful. Hey. hey. <laughs> I've run out of songs I know of her. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, happy uh, what I, birthday to rock icon Pat I Benson. believe that she is 67 years old. That's going to say 67. Brian. Right. Uh, I'm feeling 69. Nice. <laughs> There's so many people in the audience that that was a, a 
an it was audible a chorus. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Justin said 67. Brian said 69. Brett, what do you think? Who do you think is going to get the point on this one? I think uh, Brian is going to win this point. Do you think it's going to be Brian? You're a big, you're a big Pat fan? Yes. Your big I, Pat, Pat? Loves the Pats. Love loves her. The Pats. All right. Pat. She's the best. <laughs> we were looking for 70. Oh! Oh! Happy birthday. That's a Brian point. All right. Ah, Very nice. close. Happy birthday. Uh, some other celebrity she was 69 birthday. yesterday. <laughs> That's right. Now today <laughs> she's 70. <laughs> uh, some other celebrity birthdays include uh, 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 Jermaine Clement. Rod oh, really? Stewart and mm-hmm. Jared Kushner. All right. Ooh. Yeah. You know, they have so much in common. A birthday. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a a tan Ford F-150. <laughs> <laughs> With the six plate. Tan. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're going to you on this one. Ready. Uh, the year is 1984. 1984. The United States... And Vatican City reestablished full diplomatic relations after how long? Chugga, 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 chugga. Um, inventing rap. We are at the <laughs> beginning of inventing rap. I'm DJ Cool Herc. I'm inventing Deus rap. Things that are happening Please in 1984. Please people out of the Vatican. <laughs> Your Holiness, we must reestablish contact with the United States. I'm Ronald Reagan, and I've been president for... Uh, what was it? Three or four? Four years. <laughs> coming Sorry. soon. These are the signs of dementia. <laughs> uh, coming soon to theaters near you. Pa 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 da da pa pa pa. Nineteen eighty four. Uh, all right. In nineteen eighty four, the U.S. and the Vatican reestablished <laughs> diplomacy. After how long had that been? I'm, I'm going to say forty years. I'm going to say it's been four decades. Oh, Mr. Prez. I think it's been four whole decades since we talked to the Batty Fatties. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call all them cardinals and whatnot. You think they're Tiny big, country. You think they're you big could sit bone? on it. Yeah. What? They're fat. <laughs> I mean, why? Well, them up. They're, 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 they, 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 got, eat, they got they, fat hats. They eat all that pasta. You hear that hot new single, P-O-P-E? Tell me, I know where my money be. I'm DJ. <laughs> Cool hurt, <laughs> and I'm inventing rap. <laughs> yeah, I think it's 40 years. All right, Brian's going to say 40 years. Justin, in 1984, when the U.S. and Vatican reestablished diplomatic ties, how long had it been since they had done that? I don't know if it, were, if it was that long. Because I, 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 well, I don't know, because there was the worry that Kennedy was going to be a, se- a sleeper agent for the for, for, the, for, for, for the, Vatican. the Vatican, but I well, I, I, what I was thinking, I, I think Pope John Paul got he got shot in eighty two. Yep. Um, so and then he released "Get Rich or Die Trying." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, wait, 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 wait. You need a never. Mm, mm, there, it's fine. <laughs> You're all fine here. <laughs> Living it up, Mary. Okay. <laughs> Brian, uh, just- <laughs> This is the sound of a conversation grinding to a halt. No, <laughs> they, right, they both right, lost their chance. Right, we're, we're living in the moment. We're living in the we're moment. We're living in the moment. Hang in on a thing. Yeah. How many years do you think it was? Oh, if old truth. Closer to when I started thinking of this question. <laughs> Come on, Centurions, let's invade the Vatican. <laughs> Is that Skeletor? <laughs> yep. The Centurions were Skeletor the whole time. You find that out in the second act. Oh, shit. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, fellow Romans. <laughs> we're crossing the Rubicon, you dum dums. <laughs> the kazoo? The great kazoo? <laughs> Kazoo's in there, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cobra Commander, Skeletor, Gazoo. They're all. <laughs> Wait for me, Starscream. <laughs> yep. uh, all right, Justin. How long had it been? I think it had been 20 years. You're going to say 20 years? Yeah, no, 10, 15, 15 years. Say 15. Why do you think 15? I think it was something. Fucked up that happened. Like maybe it was like a new, like 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 like, like a nuclear 
thing that that the that that's where that's where shit broke down and then they, they established the it. nukes are prepared <laughs> good maybe now they'll take us seriously call us small will you <laughs> <laughs> this holy Roman Empire is about to send an atomic bomb. May God have mercy on your souls, because I sure won't. I'm yes. the <laughs> voice of God. Yes, Pope Skeletor. <laughs> God has a, a high, screechy, raspy voice. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. <clears throat> okay. Land on the moon, will you? <laughs> I'll show you. What? Okay. <laughs> Just let him go. Yeah. It's like, what, are you going to fucking look at Picasso painting and tell him to knock it off? This man's killing. <laughs> He's laughing at all of his own jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how funny a joke has to be for you to not be able to talk because you're laughing at it? <laughs> Richard Pryor, fuck you. Yeah. Richard Pryor never just laughed at his own jokes on yeah. stage. Oh. Not funny enough. <laughs> Get funnier. It could be better. Okay. All right, we've got your answers here. Justin said 15 years. Brian said 40 years. We were looking for... 117 Holy years. Holy cow. Mm. That's a Brian point. That's for quite a long time. Uh, you were right you about... You would think they would have noticed, you know, Catholicism. It, yeah. <laughs> It was uh, it was specifically with the Vatican. It was it was uh, get this a church and state sort of thing. Whoa! Uh, oh, that's interesting because they they didn't want to recognize it as a state entity. Yeah, yeah, but now uh, it's like one of the most plum uh, ambassador yeah. positions. Oh yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. you you get to live in Rome, but also not fucking care about the rest of Italy. <laughs> you have to care about like four <laughs> square blocks and be like, hey, Pope, you good? <laughs> We're just going to run on over to, you know, All Italy right. for a moment. Do you need anyway, anything? I'm going to eat some prejute. Uh, see you <laughs> later. <laughs> All right. That's our fourth round. Brett, what's the score? The score is, what is it? Four to it's zero. It's four to zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was so into the yeah, Brian <laughs> bit that I, I, I missed that last point, you know? <laughs> I love it when he's happy. <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on. I it's, I have a Photoshop request that I need because this thing happened in my head and I need everybody else to see it. So the last American ambassador to the Vatican, I'm sure there is a new one now. John Bolton. But it was uh, Newt Gingrich. Wow. For real? And so all I was thinking is the guy who just shows up and he's like, Pope, you good? All right, I'm going to go eat. And then it turned into who likes eating lasagna at Garfield. So I just need somebody to Photoshop <laughs> Newt Gingrich's head onto Garfield, Garfield while on. eating a bunch of lasagna. So if somebody can do that, thank you. Peace be with you. Uh, uh, may you have no a good life. Ali right there. Yeah. yeah. Just Newt Gingrich's head on Garfield eating a bunch of lasagna. Thank you. There we go. Saying All right. That he hates Mondays. Just a couple more questions here. We're going to go back to Justin on this one. Yes, thank Just, God. Just <laughs> the, the enthusiasm, <laughs> Justin. No, I'm excited. <laughs> this is just how I sound. Oh, oh okay. Uh, just you can't make fun of people's voices. <laughs> it's just how they sound. Yeah. All right, we are taking it back to 1927. 1927. Papes, papes, get your papes. <laughs> hey, the stock market's never going to crash. <laughs> <laughs> I still know Morse code. Oh, uh, uh, I'm selling booze. Oh, maybe not. I can't remember. Horseless carriages. Get them by the dozen. <laughs> dancing, dancing, dancing. Can you believe they invented a flying machine? 1920. Get a bug. Seven. <laughs> it's a good save. Good save. All right. The year is 1927. Fritz Lang's futuristic German film Metropolis yeah. is released. Question. When did Metropolis most recently enter the U.S. public domain? Most recently? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I, that's a great question, I, Justin. I actually believe I know the, uh, the answer to the, to the year. Is it me first? Or? Uh, it's no, Justin it's first. me. When I did... think it, 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 it reached public domain in 1997. You're saying 1997. Have you seen Metropolis, Justin? I have, actually. I saw the version. There's a bunch of versions. There's a rock version. Oh, yep. the the Marauder version. Yep, Giorgio Marauder's version. Yeah, I that saw. I saw somebody. It was like one of those the teachers done with the lesson plan mm -hmm. kind of days, and and they were just like, 
we're watching fucking The Rock Metropolis, and we're like, we don't give a shit. We're fucking 16. Like, That's probably we're awesome. All, we're all just really excited that boners are so, happening. So if, 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 I, if I could guess, have you heard the news? Boners are happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, if, I, if I could guess, I think you were adding 70 years uh, from publication to get 1997. Sure. Um, but, but I believe The Rock one happened in, like, 1987, which makes me think. Yeah, but that, I don't know whether or not they, like, paid for it. Well, yeah, yeah I, but, but if we pick 65 years after, then we get, like, 1983. So I'm, I'm going to say 1984. You're saying 1984? Yeah. Because of, because of that Marotta version? Yeah. Okay. I, th- I think that that existed because it came to... Because also, um, uh, I know that since then, a new print was discovered that was of superior quality, and that's why, like, the version came out, like, I think I saw it for the first time 10 years ago. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. By the way, did you see this thing with, with the new Metropolis that uh, that uh, 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 Francis Ford Coppola is doing? He's, like, spending his own money to make a movie that's apparently a fucking fiasco oh, in, fuck. Hold in, on. in Atlanta right now. Yeah, uh, tell me all about it. I'm going to change my answer. I think you're a sneaky snake motherfucker. I think it's today. I think today is the day. I think it's 2023. I think it's right fucking now. Okay. I'll change. Uh, uh, what's the today was gonna be the day that, that Metropolis was it is public domain. <laughs> I'm sure you oh. heard it all before. <laughs> Francis Ford Coppola's making another version again. <laughs> I don't believe that anybody wants but, to see this show about but, you now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, Fuckers, come on. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> all right. We've got your answers here. Justin said 1997. Brian said 2023. We were looking for January 1st, 2023. Yay! Nine days ago. Who was closer? <laughs> Who was closer? <laughs> Brian, Brian, Brian. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so Metropolis, uh, actually, the copyright lapsed originally in 1953, but then it was brought back in 1997 because of the Uruguay Round Agreements Act. Um, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I don't know. So wait, so 97 was a real, was a year in this phase? Uh, yeah. yeah uh, it it would have been, uh, uh, the first uh, time the copyright was brought back, it oh, was 97, 96. Okay. Well, maybe that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. And they said justifying. No, no. Well, I, I know, I know that like, like the Houdini stuff, uh, because Houdini died in, I think, 1926, uh, all of that became available in 1996. Uh, that's why it's all on. Um, uh, uh, what's the the Gutenberg project? Yeah, and that's why that's why the my book on fire eating is twice as long is <laughs> because I'm oh. like, don't mind if I do. Hey, thank Slap. you. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that uh, I I think because you're you're right, they found many many different prints of this because the Nazis edited uh, different people edited it down, including the Nazis. Um, and so they keep finding prints, but I, I do you don't... think this third act is fatty? <laughs> <laughs> I just think that we can get to the action faster. Yeah. Apparently, uh, one last thing about as I've seen, I know a lot of Metropolis facts. Apparently, fr- uh, Fritz Lang didn't love that the Nazis really liked this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Crazy. All right, it's time for our last round here we've got mm. one more round of course this is our well let's find out what the score is first. <laughs> the score it's epic it's justin with a possible well he's got zero points and brian has five whole five oh that's right that's killing right. it miami five oh in here of course, this miami is our- miami five oh mm-hmm. uh of course yeah. this is our six miami point- 50 <laughs> We all know them. We love them. Love that show. From one, from one to fifty, we count them up and down every year. Here we go. The Miami Fifty. <laughs> There's Doug, <laughs> oh, Elliot. This is like a girl. Elise, <laughs> Gary, Suarez. Suarez? Are you do- okay. uh, yeah, God. he's four of the Miami 50. <laughs> okay. You can't count to 50 in Miami without a Suarez. No, I mean, wait, 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 you might as well just jump straight to 50. Paco. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> our final question here, this is for six points. And uh, Brian, because you're in the lead, you will have to answer first. Ready. The, the year is 1946. Project Diana bounces radio waves off the moon. How long does it take for them to hear the echo of that signal? War is over. War is over. Don't kiss people, but 
don't be fucking weird about it. So we have to re- re- look at the photo for so many years. Whatever right. you do, it's PD day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm lost in the moment here. Get out of my dreams. <laughs> Billy Ocean, get out of that time machine. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 1946. Billy <laughs> Ocean's time machine is a good bit. Um, uh, I uh, okay. So so we're talking about the full round trip from the moment they hit send to the moment they get the 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 thing back. Yes. How how long did it take them for for the uh, for them to hear? Four point two seconds. You're gonna say four point two seconds. Yep. Okay. That sounds uh, specific. Justin. Uh, well, uh, yes. Go, I'm sorry, say it again. Uh, so in 1946, Project Diana bounced radio waves off the moon, and they heard an echo. How long did it take for them to hear that echo? I believe... Uh, what did you say? <laughs> uh, nobody remembers. I believe <laughs> that it took... <laughs> four days. <laughs> what did they send in my carrier pigeon? Four days. Fly to the moon. You up there, go. <laughs> no, yeah, it'd be shorter, right? Yeah, it'd be shorter. I mean, I think that's how long it took to send humans. Humans, <laughs> to yeah. The moon. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Maybe radio was slower back then. <laughs> you know? Oh no, no. See, the question wasn't how long did it take to bring a radio to the moon. Oh, to send to send a radio. Signal. I would say it was five seconds. Okay, he's going to say five seconds. Five seconds. Same to you. Five. (laughs) Is this a hot... Get a rebuke, (laughs) please! Knock it off, Billy Ocean! (laughs) Get out of the time machine! Stop monkeying with the radio! (laughs) I'm just trying to send radios to the moon. (laughs) Billy Ocean! (laughs) Also, how do you know who I am? We have our ways. Get into my top machine. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you. <laughs> get into my, my top, top machine. machine. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Brian said 4.2 seconds. Justin said five seconds. This is for six points and the entire game. Uh-oh. Fellas, we were looking for... What? Uh... 2.5 seconds. Oh! And with a total, total shutout, 11 points. Your winner today is Brian Brushwood. Hey! Yeah, I, I, Son I, of a bitch. I, 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 I realized one day <laughs> as I was playing Quake uh, online that I was sad because we'll never be able to play a first person shooter with somebody on the moon because the lag is too bad. Yep. That's the end of that stay. <laughs> that <Yep>. story. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, if you've got an idea for a game, please send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. That's a great place to send games, ideas, comments, questions, high thoughts, all sorts of stuff. Greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. Thank you. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, what, what did we learn today, Brett? We've learned three things. We've learned that the U.S. was mad at the Vatican oh, for like 100 a years. And then in the 2000s, we got mad at them again for other stuff. Uh, we've learned that Skeletor, Starscream, and the Great Gazoo was all voiced by Harvey Corman. I didn't know that. And we learned that I want a snack on a kid. <laughs> canyon snacking. That's the only way to snack on a canyon. When you, when you ride your burrow down deep, you know you got a snack on a kid. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Get bonus episodes. At least seven, uh, up to 700. Just up to. Up to. <laughs> up to. Up to. At that point, no more. Yeah, well, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm taking a hard We're line. We're not guaranteeing that. I'm going rogue, Can like live on the stream. That, that's, our, that's our cap. Yeah. That's our capacity. Until they shine on you, crazy diamonds. It's been a great night. 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 You can. Single bed, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night.
my TV. Right, Club. Hope you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>